Hi everyone, I've created a fairly simple to make drawing device that um, consists of basically an upper and lower panel. The upper one is an open frame, almost like a picture frame. The bottom one is a solid piece of wood. And the bottom frame has twine that's connected on all four corners and the upper frame also has twine on all four corners. And these run through either an open hook or a screw eye at the ceiling level. The drawing arm is from a product called Hypnograph. And Hypnograph is a product that uses gears, and in various combinations of these gears, you can create numerous drawings within a six inch circle. I wanted something a little bit larger, so I created this um, particular device, but I wanted to use their arm because it's so versatile. The very end of this uh, drawing arm, there's a hole, and into that hole, I've placed a bolt and a nut, and onto the bolt, I've placed different washers. So you can fine tune and balance the actual weight of the pen on the other side. I'm using a two and a half inch hinge that will move the arm upwards and downwards. And just ahead of that is another bolt with a nut and I can fine tune the weight by moving that upward or forward or backwards. On the uh, upper frame, I have a three pound weight on the left side and a three pound weight on the right side. And I have an eight ounce weight on the far side. When these two particular panels are pretty much stationary, there's about a one inch space between the two. One of the advantages of this particular device is that you can move the bottom panel and not move the top one, or you can move the upper panel and not move the bottom one, or you can move both of them. But whenever the pen touches the paper, it starts moving both of them. So you can come up with a remarkable number of different images. And if you want to, you can stop the arm at any time reposition the paper, and then do a second or third drawing on top of the first one. The image that's being drawn right now is fairly interesting, so I think I'll just let it go to completion. I think I'll lift the arm at this particular point. Here are a few drawings that this device created. When you have more weight on the arm toward the pen side, you can get more of a continuous line look like this image illustrates. When the weight goes more toward the back of the drawing arm, you get a broken line effect like this one. And even more weight to the back produces something like this. This is a multiple pass image. I think that sometimes having a broken line effect produces a less mechanical look to your final image. In this one, the pen was placed on the paper and the motion continued and the pen was not lifted, so it's a single pass image. In this one, the weight was more toward the back of the drawing arm. In this image, the weight was more toward the front of the drawing arm. 